Hello. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How you doing tonight? It's me, Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream. <laughs> I know, did that a little bit backwards. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, July 10th of 2024. And you know what that means? That means it's time for, for an interesting stream, because I pushed everything back a day. <laughs> anyway, how you all doing tonight, Chad? I hope you're all doing well. If not, I hope this stri hopefully I can help cheer you up. Anyway, well, anyway, as you can see, we're playing Star Trek Online tonight, and what we're, and in case you're wondering where, how we left off, we did a whole bunch of missions. Um, let me bring up a thing here. Did a whole bunch of missions. We completed the Cardassian Cardassian struggle. Did most of the Borg advance. We're right now dealing with assimilation, then fluid dynamics, then. Uh, looking at the new Romulus missions, um, I have no idea if it's basically all back to back now because of the whole of of everything, or I need to go work on leveling up via um, via the Ro new um, Romulus reputation system bit. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Okay, okay, come on, game. Show up. There we go, thank you. Okay, also, I did a little bit of work off stream, not on games, basically on the ship. I like how, like how this looks now. Anyway, let's begin. Uh, one second. Double checking something. Yep, we're all good. Okay, Captain, I'm detecting uh, the wreckage of an Undine ship. It could be the vessel following the Borg Sphere that captured the Undine prisoner on Omicron Kappa 2. We must stop this sphere before it can return to the col to the collective fleet. Any information that the Borg could learn from the prisoner could upset the balance of power. Yeah. Confirm this wreckage matches the energy signature of the Undine vessel that followed the Borg Sphere that captured the Undine prisoner, blah blah blah. It must have been destroyed recently. We must be very close. Sir, detecting a Borg Sphere dead ahead, emission signatures indicate that this is the same sphere that we've been pursuing. Okay, let's go take... Let's go take that out. Or at least... Damage it enough. Where are they? Oh, over there. Oh, that's an assimilator. going then. Come on, impulse, get up there. By the way, I got this because I got that whole fl I'm in a fleet. Don't really... It was a case of just random invite and I didn't want to be bothered with any more fleet invites, so... Yeah. Oh, lovely. Undine. Okay, those rifts opened into fluidic space. The Borg tangled with the Undine in fluidic space before, sir, but they were defeated. They were unable to assimilate the Undine, and without that, the Undine were able to push them out. 
If we're willing to send a force into the fluidic space again, the Borg must think they have adapted in a way that will allow them to defeat the Undine. Since this region is our protector and our orders are to eliminate the Borg threat. I recommend that we gauge the Borg and the Undine and secure the area. Yeah, I agree. this, I'll get the music going, by the way. There's the last one. Oh, it's, un it's an Undine. I'm trying to figure out where. Oh, over that way. According to the map, according to the map up here. There it is. Of course it jumps. Their support should be appearing through the rip. It has an undine vessel locked in a tractor beam. Sir, if the work had brought an undine vessel to our dimension, they must have some purpose for it. They may have even adapted to the point that they can assimilate the undine's organic technology or even the or even the undine themselves. I'm detecting undine ships about to emerge from the singularity. Perhaps they are trying to rescue the sh their ship as well. The undine vessels are heavily armored, sir. Blah blah blah. We'll choose our target carefully and but I want both the Bork and the Undine out of our space. Okay, give me one second, let me get the music going. I'm getting bored with no mo no real noise. Let's go with... Well, let's go with 2000's rock anthems. Okay. Picking up Undine life signs of the Bork cubes, Captain. If the Bork transported Undine onto the cube, they are either testing a new assimilation process or they've already learned how to assimilate Undine. That could be real trouble for us, sir. Imagine defending the Federation against Undine drones. Okay. We have an opportunity, sir. The Borg cube is damaged and it will take some time for it to be fully operational again. We could take advantage of that and reconfigure our emitter rate to temporarily block this cube's link to the Collective. That'll give us an a Give us a chance to beam aboard and stop the Borg from completing their assimilation process with the Undine captives. Get, it's dangerous, but this may be the only chance we get. Understood? Let's go transport there. Okay, the cube has been damaged and has entered a regeneration state. Based on your encounter with the Borg at the Talis system, we, n not, we know that they do not see most humanoids as a threat and will only enter combat in their own defense or if a vital component of their ship is threatened. If we don't engage them, perhaps we can locate the Undine without having to fight. There is a background frequency that is interfering with my tricorder, but I believe there are Undine life signs somewhere on this level. Perhaps if we get closer, I could cut through the interference. Okay. I'm glad I brought the shotgun.
By the way, because of the reason reason event that's on, I got myself this rainbow tribble. Captain, I believe I can modify your transcord to be able to access the Borg terminals. However, accessing the terminals could alert the Borg to our presence. Okay, let's do it. Okay, yeah, it does have four. Okay, I'm just gonna run and download. Okay, they've inflated Blue Space and the Savage Beachhead. Okay, last one, and create. just demonstrate how they created artificial singularities. that force field and actually turn off that force field. I'm definitely detecting Undine life signs ahead, sir. But something appears to be wrong with them. The patterns don't match the information we have available on their physiology. Oh, great. Oh, shit. There's some over here, too. There we go. That was easy for that one. Though I was just tempted to fake just saying that was easy. And now for here. What the what, what are they doing to those Undine? Are they failed experiments, or is that what the Borg wanted to do to them? We must help them, sir. If we can destroy the nodes, it should free them from the Borg, from Borg control. We can't let them live like that. Okay, looks like the Undine killed... Killed itself rather than risk fully becoming a become rather than risk become fully assimilated. What the is? Okay. <laughs> what 
are these? What are those things? It looks like pieces of Undine. <laughs> yeah. that other one Nanotubular tethers. Okay, we took that out. Come on, let's get going. Oh, that's not good. Let me just... Dome! I need that dome up. There. There we go. Let's overload that vinculum. Let's get the hell out of Dodge! Ooh, that was close. Okay, sensors logs indicate we've successfully prevented the Borg from sending their findings to the Collective. However, we have no choice but to destroy the ship to prevent the Borg from covering the data. Arm weapons to target that, cu target that assimilator. Okay, we're gonna need to get out of here. Ah! Well, that was close. Looks like the Undy destroyed the Borg cube before we had a chance. Congratulations, sir. We have prevented the Borg from learning to assimilate the Undy and discovered the location of a the Borg foothold in fluidic space. I'm sure we can adapt their techniques to open a singularity into fluidic space, sir, but first we need to reporting, report our findings to command. And yeah, let's get the heck out of Dodge. I don't want... Oh, there was a there was a loot critter back there. Oh, well. Hello? What the... Okay, that was a close one. If the pork has succeeded, I don't even want to think about finding Undine drones. Good work, Captain. You've done the Federation a great service. Yeah, let's get ourselves... Let's just get the... the tactical drone right there. Captain. Blue dynamics... Okay. 
The data view recovered from the Borg cube indicates that the Borg have established a foothold in Undine space. The Undine have seemed to make very little distinction between alien races, so it's quite possible the Borg presence in, in their home is causing their aggressive behavior. We cannot afford a full-out war with the Undine. Their biotechnology surpasses even our most advanced technology. Therefore, we have assembled an expedition to remove the Borg presence from fluidic space. We found a system where the fabric of the two dimensions are breaking down. This is our best shot at creating a stable quantum singularity. The expedition will include a USS Voyager commanded by Admiral Tuvok. He has analyzed the data you recovered from the Borg cube and is confident he could create an artificial singularity. Your orders are to cross into fluidic space with, with Voyager, locate the Borg, and remove them if possible. Avoid conflict with the Undine. They will have the advantage, and you'll end up in a fight you can't win. Okay. Accept that. No, not transwarp. Auto navigate. We're close enough as is. we have here? Transphasic bomb, okay. And let's begin fluid dynamics. Okay, you know what? This is a doing well. Um, Welcome to the CUDA system. I'll change the music I am Admiral real quick. Tuvok of the USS Voyager. I will provide tactical assistance on this mission. I'm gonna go with 80s hard rock. There we go. Okay, it's a privilege, Admiral. I've studied the exploits of Voyager at Starfleet Academy. Wink, wink. Thank you. Your meteoric rise through the ranks is well known to me as well. Sensors indicate the division between normal and fluidic space is thinner here, making crossing much easier. The Undine have used this location in the past. We will use it now. The majority of the fleet will remain here to protect this area. Our team will enter fluidic space, locate, and then survey the Borg presence there. If possible, we will destroy it. When you are ready, Voyager will open the singularity. Okay, open the singularity, Admiral Tuvok. We have made a successful transition into fluidic space. Unlike our own, this dimension is filled with an organic fluid. The main indigenous life form is species 8472. Sensors are detecting a Borg signature nearby. Your vessel will take the lead in the investigation. We will follow. Acknowledge will take point to find the source of the signal. Sir, we've been affected by a wave-like current in fluidic space, which is causing our ship to move involuntarily. I wish we had more time to study this phenomenon. Yes, I agree with you. Oh, hello! Can I go? Thank you! Did some kind of Borg device sir, I recommend we appro approach and get a scan. Seriously, get a closer scan. Sir, the, this in, scans indicate this is an interplexing beacon, sir. The Borg must not be able to transmit their subspace three frequencies easily through organic fluid that comp comprises fluidic space. These relays are boosting the signal and all, uh, to allow communications communication with, with the collective in normal space. This means we should be able to follow these beacons to the Borg foothold here. Okay, let's set course for the next one. Next 
next one to scan. Data acquired, sir. There appears to be a total of five interplexing beacons in the sequence. Next one's just ahead. Set a course for the next one. And here's the next one. Captain, this be a beacon appears to be picking up a subspace transmission from within fluidic space with a Starfleet signature, sir. Recommend we investigate, sir. It could be a ship in distress. Agreed. Set an intercept course for the source of the signal. We've been examining the data on the interplexing beacons, and we believe we may have discovered a vulnerability in the Borg subspace carrier wave technology. If it's acceptable to you, I would like the venture to remain here and run some tests while you investigate the signal. We may oh. not get another opportunity. That is acceptable. We will investigate the sig signal while the venture, venture remains here. Okay, the signal's coming from over that way. This landmass is unique in fluidic space. It is not a planet by Starfleet definitions. If I had to categorize it, I would say it is similar to the coral reefs found in Earth's oceans. The ground itself is a framework for living creatures. Fascinating. We are detecting a number of ships in the area. Starfleet, Klingon Defense Force, Romulan Republic, even Ferengi and Cardassian. Most species from the Alpha and Beta Quadrants appear to be represented. Curious, these ships have identical configurations to the ships found in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, but they cannot have, have been constructed there. I'm detecting alloys that are not used as standard ship constructions. Run a metallurgical analysis there. Hi, right, sir. Running analysis now. The Allies um, correspond to technology found on Iconia and in recovered Iconia technology. Now, why would the Iconians make fake ships? Well, I intend to find out. Sir, I'm detecting some kind of gateway opening and a huge fleet coming through. Show, show me. On screen. Those must be mo more Iconian frauds. And the Undine are destroying them. So we're picking up an incoming distress call from the USS Venture. Captain I'm Simmons to Voyager. The Borg are here. We're taking heavy fire and need immediate assistance. Set course to the Venture. Maximum speed. Okay, we got escape pods. Dr. Cooper was in an escape pod, Captain. He wants to speak to you from the transporter room. Patch him through. Uh, uh, I never should have come on this mission. I'm a scientist, not an explorer. Take me out of this awful place right now! Calm down for a second. Talk to me. What happened? The Borg attacked and we had to abandon ship. We were floating here, waiting, and then... Undine! They came out of nowhere! Tore through us like tissue paper! We shouldn't have invaded their space! They're so strong! We're weak! Please, take me out of here! What about Captain Simmons? She's not in the escape pods? Uh... I don't know. It all happened so fast. She insisted on being the last one to leave the ship. I don't even know if she made it out alive. Now, can we leave? 
I'm sorry, Dr. Cooper, but we have a mission to complete. Okay. Should have had an extra one... Had an extra ship stay behind just to guard the venture, just in case. Okay, let's scan this one. Beacon scan, sir. Coordinates of the final beacon have been downloaded. This beacon is handling a significant amount of traffic, sir. The last beacon should give us the information we need. Sir, this is the final beacon. I have the coordinates of the board fleet. We're very close. Shields up and proceed with caution. Um, I don't think that's a fleet. That's a freaking unit complex. <laughs> the board presence is much larger than we anticipated. Nevertheless, our orders are to remove as much of it as possible. Voyager will follow your lead. Acknowledge. We're going in. Is that a Borg human? It's enormous! I admit that it is an impressive
and diamond. Sir. Okay, preparing a feedback. Pulse hold fire. And undead fleets are converging on this location. Yeah, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Okay. You know what? No. Actually, yes, yes. <laughs> Change my mind. It's getting destroyed. I'm getting out of Dodge. Let's get that. <laughs> there we go. And there we go, we're back. We need to report to Starfleet Command immediately. We thought that the Undine were responding to a Borg incursion into their space, but it now appears that the Iconians, or some entity posing as them, has created false Alpha and Beta Quadrant ships and sent them into fluidic space. Clearly, the Undine attacked us because they thought we attacked them first. Starting with the bad news, I see. There is some good news. The spread of the Borg nanovirus has halted, and thanks to the doctor's research, we should be able to prevent future planets from being assimilated in this manner. The Borg will adapt in time, but we have also stopped them from transmitting the technique for undine assimilation to the collective. It is possible they could learn how to do so again. We will need to remain vigilant. Okay, what about the Borg in fluidic space? The Borg in fluidic space were forced to retreat and logic suggests it will be quite some time before they trouble the Undine again. The end of the Borg attacks in their home might stop the Undine advance into our space. But if the Iconians continued to trick Species 8472 with false incursions, they could decide to invade ours in retaliation. Okay, what happens now? Voyager will take Dr. Cooper and the other survivors back to Earth. I suggest that we all confer with our fleet commanders to determine the next course of action. We have not seen the lap of the Unseen. Understood. Until next time, Admiral. Okay, I'm just waiting. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get out of here. We may not have been able to remove the Borg presence in fluidic space, but it looks like the Undine will. Hopefully this will end their aggressiveness. However, I find your reports of false flagships in fluidic space troubling. 
If the Iconians are trick are you trying to trick the Undine into believing that we're invading their space, it could explain everything that's happened. Unfortunately, it it only means that the Undine may be prompted to to do an invasion of their into an invasion of their own. If that happens, our entire dimension will be at risk. Yep. Let's go with the cannons. Congratulations, Captain. Okay, Captain, a new group of our group of our people are trying to create a new homeworld. Sailor's capital city has erupted into fighting since she disappeared. So-called saviors, so saviors struggle for power, power, and new ones rise and fall every day. We are witnessing the end days of an empire. I believe the group I belong to a group of Romulans who, like you, want to survive. With our leader Tatan, we are throwing off the shackles of our past. We reject secrecy and deceit in favor of democracy and cooperation. In creating a new world, we will remake our culture. We found our planet we will call Molrion. New Romulus in our, in our mother tongue. It can be ours, but we have much to do before we can truly call it a home. Our government has authorized me to ask you for assistance. Our people have been in strife for far for too long, Captain. Can you look past our history and help us build a new world? Yeah. Um, you'll have my support. Okay, let's transwarp there. Don't know if I could go down there, but hey. Go. And beam down. Have Tarsi with me. And I'm gonna pause music because there's a cutscene. We cut have the strength now. With the help of Starfleet and the Empire, we could destroy what's left of the Tal Shiar. We would be safe. We would be free. There are too few of us left to fight amongst ourselves. Military action should be our last option. I don't see how talking to them will be enough. But I'm a warrior not a politician. If my people are to find a home here, there must be a leader capable of building a new future, of looking past our differences to find harmony. You are that leader, Ditan. Since I was a child hiding in the sewers of the capital with the reunificationists, I have worked toward the day when the Romulans would once again walk beside their Vulcan brothers and sisters. Before that can happen, we need to rebuild. We need a home to replace what was lost, to see past our grief and find acceptance. We need to reconcile with the Remans and end the centuries of strife and oppression. The fate of both our peoples rests here. We either create a new home world out of the ashes, or we wither and die. Thank you for agreeing to assist us. I'm grateful that both the Federation and the Empire have temporarily put aside their differences to help create a new Romulus. This proves that unification is possible, both for my people and for yours. We're building a new home here. Romulans and Remans can't continue on like nothing has changed. Everything is different. We are a changed people. The loss of okay. Romulus... <laughs> I wonder why the mouth is not moving right now. But that wound will not be fatal. There we go. There is a great deal of work to do before we can truly call this our new home. But with your help, I know Mold Rihan, or New Romulus in your language, will someday be as great as what we lost. Kylor is in charge of the staging area. He can give you more information about what we need. There's much to do, and little time. We left our first home to remain free. We lost our adopted home to treachery. May this world be the home we have sought for so long. A place where our descendants can live in peace. Okay, and let me get the music going back up again. Let's see where... Okay, over there. 
Thank you for coming to the Romulus campus. This is the destruction of the Romulan homeworld. Romulus space has been unstable. The Federation tried to offer a ha hand in friendship to build connections with the survivors. When that failed, Starfleet Command made the decision to, uh, to take several preemptive strikes and to eliminate threats before they become open warfare. Whether or not those actions were justified is not, a, not for us for, to debate. We, with the formation of, of a new Romulan colony world, at the Alliance of the Remans, we have a second chance. What we do here on this planet will shape the Federation's relationship with the Rom uh, with Romulan Republic. They forgot to fix that. Well, for decades, we could create a new alliance, or we can wake a sleeping dragon. I believe in Ambassador Spock's plan for reunification. That's why I volunteered to be a liaison between Titana and the Federation. But before we can, before that can happen, we need to earn the Romulans' trust. You will help us to do that. Yes, I look forward to helping with the Romulan Republic. Welcome to New Romulus. Let ago. me brief you on the situation here. We're building a new city here, at the site where people first landed on this world <coughs> more 2,000 years ago, after the Sundering. Our Riemann friends will take the lower levels, where they can feel most at home. We'll use the staging area as a landing site for shuttlecraft and a place to coordinate construction and future shipping. Many of our records were lost with the homeworld. But what we do have indicates that there was a battle here before the colony ships left to find Romulus. You found what could be the Sword of the Raptor Star, one of our most revered artifacts that here was on a, this world. That was a different... That was a different person. There's still much we need to learn about this world and its inhabitants. This creature, for example, how did it adapt to the radiation that until recently made this world unsuitable for colonization? It's kind of cute. Recent scans are showing the radiation falling into manageable levels. With modern technology and your assistance, this should be a place where the Romulan and Riemann people can thrive for generations to come. We found ruins that date back to the Sundering, and beneath them, signs of what may be a much older civilization. Who lived here eons ago? What happened to them? We're doing what we can, but we can't do it alone. If you're here to help, I'll get you started. Okay. Congratulations, Captain. It's all done. Now I'm just checking. Okay, hail. There's not a lot. Of, there's a lot of things that need to be done. I had not enough hand to do the work, so grab a spanner and or collect reports of Altier already. <laughs> you might be might get get that fancy uniform a little dusty. Dirty work is honest work. Yep. Let me just press play on the music again. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I know, not exciting going around trying to find stuff and to fix. Okay. Next. Oh, right over here. Oh, can't do the other side. I thought it was two separate things. <laughs>
Okay, I'm just curious what you're selling here. Oh, armor. Armor and... and random stuff. Here's science, here's medical... No, I don't want to deal with the radiation. Scanning, that is. Okay, lifts can't fix themselves, get back to work. <laughs> More reports. Material security is vital, blah blah blah. <laughs> that that thing's cute. Okay, come on, get back to work. <laughs> Let's turn in that report and find one more thing to fix. At least I think that think that'll be it. Science report and come on, we fixed this before. Okay, thank you, but uh, this, I know this may not seem like much, but everything you do con con contributes to Morion, as the Klingons say, the first city wasn't built in a day, yeah. I received reports of Tal Shiar spying on new Romulus. <laughs> not a surprise, but we need to stay cautious. Most recently, I've acquired a recording that has actionable information. I'd like for you to follow up on it. Okay. Don't have a lot of time. I've hidden a recording near where you first arrived to New Rhyme. Let's find it. Okay. And we're gonna get that Chronoton Mind Barrier. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna swap out the that quick fix for for that. And this... Okay, right there. Okay. Sir, this seems to be a recording taken from the hidden cap cameras within the capital city itself. There's a message on it. It's addressed specifically to me. To you, I should say. Okay, let's watch it. Okay, one... I'll mute that. Mute the music. I'll be going now, unless you need anything else. Do you want me to bring you something to eat? No. N no, thank you. I'll see you in the morning. pro -Council. May we speak? How did you get in here? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sub-Commander Kiana. And I represent certain individuals interested in the future of the Romulan people. Don't patronize me. You mean the Tal Shiar. If you want to be blunt, yes. What do you want, Sub-Commander? An agreement that will benefit us both. You agree to allow us to advise you on the governing of this colony, and in return we will do all we can to assist you with any complications that may arise. You want to play kingmaker? I'm no king, and deals made in the dark never end well. If you want to open negotiations, contact my office. Uh, during business said to be stuffed during this cutscene. You know as well as I do, that would be pointless. There's too much bad blood, and the Federation and the Klingons would never agree. I'd be lucky to leave the negotiations alive. Haki's death and the disappearance of the Empress has left my organization at loose ends. The Tal Shiar needs a strong leader, 
You have the trust of the Klingons, Starfleet, the Remans. Just imagine what you could do with our help. Are you trying to bribe me? Merely presenting options. A wise man would see that this is his best, his only option. I was instructed by the wisest of men, Subcommander. Spock taught me that openness and truth have more power than secrets. I want all Romulans to unite, even the Tal Shiar. But it can only happen in the light of day. I'll give you time to reconsider. We have similar goals, Titan. You want to rebuild Romulan power. So do we. Think about it. We will speak again. Computer, give me everything we have on the Tal Shiar. Okay. Submit the recording. Who do you think left us that recording, Captain? Whoever it was is obviously someone who wants to know everything that is going on behind the scenes. No matter what the motivations were for releasing this recording, it's good to know that Datan is not siding with the Tal Shiar. We should probably submit this recording to headquarters. Okay, let's submit that. Okay, warehouse. Ah, uh, one second. I need to see what Dad keeps sending me. Uh... Oh, come on! Okay, it's a whole bunch of Godzilla stuff. Oh wait, that's old. That's old stuff. Okay. Okay, that's nice. I want some beer right now. Looking at that. Some Godzilla heads <laughs> on a wall. And a guy eating some barbecue that look- and the barbecue looks good. And it looks like beef ribs. <sighs> Of course. <laughs> trying to trying to go through my weaknesses, I see. That way. <laughs> okay. Talk to you. Oh, it's a case of begin the instance and get more people down. Okay, let's speak to the foreman. Shalom, true, Captain. We appreciate you taking an interest in our affairs. That right now we have a supply, pr having a supply problem. Ah, excuse me. There's a Ferengi trader here named Madron who seems quite capable of making a profit, but less than capable of keeping an accurate track of our shipments. I've tried to talk to him, but he, he seems to treat any conversation as a type of negotiation. And I'm hesitant to escalate this problem to Titan's attention. Kyler, su Kyler suggested that we use a third party to help us work out a solution. Would you be willing to speak to him on our behalf? Maybe you could get can get through to him. Yeah, of course. I'll let you know what we find. Where's that Ferengi? I need to talk to him. Hi there. Let me Oh, guess. hold on. Hold on. Hi there. You again. Last time I saw you, I had a sweet little mining business on Hifar. And some information brokering on the side. Now, all of that's gone. The mine, the intel, everything. 
I'm lucky I still have a tooth sharpener. Get out before I call security. Yeah, no, we came to talk about talk to you about some irregularities with your sh supply manifests. Let me guess. Lieutenant Tenenga is complaining again. I stand by my paperwork and my inventory. It's not my fault if the Romulans can't count. They don't have the lobes for business. Look, you can review the cargo manifests yourself and match them to the supplies in the crates. But I'm sure a big, important Starfleet officer like yourself has more important things to do. If you want to bother with it, though, knock yourself out. The terminals in the warehouse have the manifest, and the crates are nearby. I'd help you check, but I have real work to do. Oh, and don't mind the Orions. They're subcontractors. Uh, they keep sending me people. stuff. Lots of willing <laughs> hands to help. Most of it's Godzilla right now tonight. And now it's food. It seems Dad's doing two things. Okay, Great Dane with a with one of those one of those fake air fake arrow things, but instead of an arrow, it's a fake knife thing. You know that whole arrow through head thing, fake things. Anyway, I'm doing this. Do not disturb. Okay, I'll do that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> can still send stuff, but it's a case of... Won't be able to... Okay, let, okay we got the cargo manifest. First. Let's check this. Check this. Old uniform forms. Why would anyone keep these in a box named River Pig Chow? Okay, yeah. It's, it's either mi mix up or someone decided to decide decide to switch labels. Cargo manifest. And what are you? Okay. Captain, this manifest says this crate's supposed to be containing industrial and energy cells, but all I see are some self-sealing stem bolts. Okay. Oop. Did not mean for that to happen. Check this. According to these manifests, these are supposed to be a three month supply of of supplies for the science team located at the Alatai. But half of these boxes are empty. Yeah, that's that's not looking good. Let's Let's get going here to the to the rest of the stuff. Let's see how... Okay, it's there, and there. We'll check out the other side, and then we'll go to that... to that far right one. Cargo manifest. What do we have? This is okay. Yeah, that, not di this is a dilithium ore. It's it seems everything completely wrong according to this. Next. Okay, this crate is supposed to contain construction supplies, but it's empty. 
I, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm thinking something's going on here. And just because I, because this feeling is not going away, I'm taking my weapon out. The shotgun. <laughs> Okay, cargo manifest. And you. Who made these manifests? This is an entertainment supply. It's, a, it's scrap hull plating from old shuttles. Okay, time to have a little chat. Hi there again. So, you check the manifests and the crates, and they don't match up. <laughs> I knew I should have gone with you. And then I could have explained that the more valuable supplies are in a secure storage unit. You can't be too careful, you know. Someone might be trying to steal something. Here, let me open the secure area for you. It's at the far end of the warehouse. For your sake, I hope you're telling the truth. Or else I'll hang you, uh, hang you upside down outside and put and paint on you, scam artist, on those lobes. And still, I believe it's a trap, so shotgun stays out. <laughs> Couldn't just leave well enough alone, could you? Hold on. Your type are Hold on, everyone. Meddlers. Now you've gone and upset my Herogen friends, and they want to have a discussion with you. Enjoy! Okay, it's just a case of Dad was trying to say something, and oh shit, there's Hyrogen. Let's just hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Checking if I can upgrade you. Oh, I need tech upgrades. Well, there's one way to do it. How many accelerator? Nope. Okay, upgrade. Can't upgrade that anymore right now. In the inventory, in the back that goes. There. Also, I know the shields are fine because I get because I get something special from this. The uh, give me some room a bit thing. Let me just double check details. Yeah. Yeah, basically it helps helps for when reviving someone, more or less. Okay, come on.
Shield Dome. Just in case they decide to move forward. And Sumpec Light Lightning. their attention. Ah! Oh, great. Flash banged. Self-revive using that. In case you're wondering, that was the Paradox Corrector. Okay, have to respawn. It looks like Madra escaped through a secret passage. He's probably on his way to a shuttle right now. We have to stop him. Let's download this encrypted data. And... I think... This man. Hmm. Help me up here. And force field jump. There we 
go. Make over five. Revive everyone. Let's get the heck out of here. I, <laughs> again, if I could, I'd string them up upside down and paint out the lobes. Scam artist. Madron was working with the Syndicate and the Tal Shiar. I'm glad you were able to handle the situation, Captain, but it shouldn't have gotten so far out of hand in the first place. Obviously, we're going to have to keep a much closer eye on anyone we invite to our, into our colony. Yeah. Take the Covariant Shield. I've received another recording, and I think it's connected to the prior Tal Shiar one. I'd like for you to follow up and track down any information related to it. Okay. Greetings. I have hope you found my other gift. If you're willing, I have more to show you. Go to the pass of the mountains to the, above the staging area. There you will find a shuttle. Use these access codes to view surveillance footage. Okay. Let's see where we're gonna need to go here. Go this way, and all the. We're gonna have to walk. Because we can't really fast trap, quote unquote, fast travel. Oh, come on. I hate getting, getting stuck on terrain. Can we get up and over that way? That's my question. Yes, we can, and holy cow, there's a... Trying to see if I could talk to that civilian, but I can't. Running, running, running. Oh, two. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just putting that in the pattern buffer since I'm here. Enter the mountain pass. And I need to change up the weapon. And also my sh also give give myself a different set of body armor. Do a little bit of upgrading here.
what else? I don't... I have that. Here we go. Also, those Kroniton mines are kind of useless. I am getting a medical generator there. Nope, oh, one second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone. It was a case of... Case of we got ourselves some really rainy weather here and... Kate and need to take care of it. And specifically, taking a fan out the window. Combination of effects here. Come on. Defending the array is our top priority. Okay. Can disable the camera. Free the prisoner. Picking up reports of intruders in the base. Oh, there's a whole bunch there.
Dampening field. We need to get this base up and operational. Okay, we're going to the stolen data files. Nope. Shit. And time to walk back all the way there. Okay, I'm just one. Be quiet. You're as loud as a Klingon. There. Just turning off this stuff. There, that's better. The Herogen will be well rewarded for your assistance. Okay, where are you, Tarsi? Oh, there you are. Download that. Continued resistance is forcing me to take direct action. This is regrettable, but your deaths will pave the way to a new Romulan Star Empire. One controlled by the Tau Shia. Come on, there we go. Disable the generator. They can't be far. Download the encrypted message. 
free the prisoner. Free the other prisoner. Look at those uniforms. Okay, You're yeah. A disgrace. Examine the device. Okay, yeah. Let's... Okay, Captain, I've to appeared to encrypt a message appeals from Colonel Hookeep to Commander Rule. Commander, the darkest hour of the Tal Shark draws near. The Riemann project is a failure. Even now, forces from Starfleet and the Empire approach an hour on the approach, of, the approach our base on Brea 3. Sources indicate that the Empress may take a direct hand in the matter, although I do not w know which side she will support. There's no lo love lost between us. We will fight to last man, but if Brea 3 falls, the Tal Shower must survive. We are the last hope of our people. Darkness is coming. We either embrace it or surrender to oblivion. I am depending on you to continue the work I have started. We can no defend the array. We can no longer risk the direct confrontation with Starfleet or the Empire. Use the subspace scattering device to conceal your location as long as possible. Move in, move in shadow. Act with deliberation. Use cat spas as the demons have used us. The Remans are drunk on freedom. The remains of our people are shattered and broken, begging for the begging for scraps when they should be taking revenge. The Empress serves no one but herself. The Talshar is the Empire. We alone remember what, is to, it what it is to be Kringles. Romulan. I have the utmost confidence in your abilities, Commander. Do not disappoint me. And... Okay, there we go. Let's watch the recording on the shuttle. I've visited Detan for the third and final time, Commander. He still worships the Vulcan's memory. He will not see reason. He is only one man, however. If we misfortune to were to befall him, perhaps his replacement would be more accommodating. I have no interest in making martyrs, Sub-Commander. Attacking Detan directly would be yet another distraction from the real issues on this world. In this case, some assistance may be required. You understand the situation? Detan and his people are intractable. I need you to show them the error of their ways. I don't need someone like you to explain things. Do you remember our agreement? Continue to assist us and you'll have your pick of the hunting grounds. The best and most powerful trophies will be yours. I expect something better than that grunting beast by the river. Of course. It is done. Starfleet and the Klingons will be our prey. Once they are gone, Detan and his followers will be yours to command. Okay, we got that recording. Submit. Amazing. How do you think the person helping us got access to the Talshar shuttle codes? We shall submit these, this recording to headquarters as well. Yes, we are. And now let's get the heck out of here. Okay, interesting. We can't let the Tal Shark get ahead of us when it comes to unearthing the mysteries of Murimos. Keep me informed if anything else pops up. Congratulations, Captain. We've received another anonymous message. This time, it's about something going on in one of the old cave systems. Check it out, and report back to me personally. As always, this information is classified. I think I'll get the sonic anti-proton compression pistol. Greetings. Okay, running, running, running. Let's get the beam turret. Actually, let's see, can we beam back? Oh, no, we can't. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Talsha are, are, are our biggest problem. As you've probably seen, the Tholians have an interest in this planet too. Go to the cave entrance of the small crater of the Force, find the Tholian console, use these skills. They have to work, they have to. I was wondering who's helping us. Also, I'm gonna get this area for the for that cons for the transport. Okay, obtain clearance. Let's see which. Can you cross this way? Looks like. That's a big friend. <laughs> I honestly thought we were going to have to skip these because of rank. Okay, I just want to see. Getting close to being level 40. And once we can, we can get ourselves. Okay, hi, how you doing? Should have expected that honestly, but. No, I'm trying to take the items here. Um, as long as it's not attacking... Okay! Is there... No, there isn't, right? The oh, it's over there. into the crater. And someone else is doing stuff. And let's go to the overgrown cave. Hi, Yoza, how you doing? Oh, losing a lot of frames? Let me check here. Um, I swapped out. Oop, hello, what the fuck? Did not mean for that to happen. That's our audio storage. Okay, how's this? Looking at the video on another computer, it looks fine, honestly. So. There we go, let's talk to you. I'm very glad you could take time to assist us. We've been having some strange occurrences lately. Noises we can't identify That's are weird, being Yosa. heard deep in the caves, and our supplies keep disappearing. One of my scientists volunteered to investigate. And he hasn't returned. 
Would you be willing to look for him? Any scans you could take when you're in the caves would also be very helpful. Yes, we will look for him and scan stuff while we're at it. Yeah, that's weird. By the way, these used to be behind uh, the reputation system. As I mentioned before. So I'm right now glad that I'm able to basically go through them all. Okay. Just noticed something. That is... 11 levels above me. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, these used to be behind the reputation system, and every single tier you got unlocked more. So it took a while. S took a while. S and now having them basically like this, pretty cool. Honestly, I think it also helps with the narr kind of helps with the whole thing with the uh, what we're looking for, whole storyline basically. Hello? Tholian Grid here. Oh, Force Field. I managed to clear up some of the interference. Oh, I am hello. detecting Tholian life signs ahead of your coordinates. Please proceed with caution. Okay, scan the alien artifact. Cover that figurine. That's just new Romulus research. Oh, lovely. Okay, got the trap scientist. Oh. <laughs> I'm using the wrong thing. Intruder convey converge location deadly force. Oh, that's not good. Tholians seem to be gathering information out of the Daywan ruins. They appear to be especially interested in the rela relationship between the Daywans and the Iconians. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mech soldier. Oh. Okay. That's not good. Force field. There we go. Ah, lock boxes. More alien artifacts. <laughs> okay, Yoza. Thank you for lurking. Tholians seem to be collecting extensive da data on Daywan technology. They seem to be particularly interested in artifacts related to gateway technology. Okay, oh, that's the portal that... that they're talking about.
this. Shut down the portal while we can. Captain, the Tholians have several flora samples of quartine. They may be attempting small experiments to see if the planet could be made, ha made habitable for them without environmental suits. Of course, if the planet is habitable for Tholians, it will be uninhabitable for humanoids. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the captain, I believe. You know what? I'm just gonna... Okay, yeah. We already got that message playback. Wanna see what this was? Sorry, I'm detecting unusual energy signatures here. It seems to be similar to rifts on Nukara Prime, but more stable. And we know that the Tholians were trying to harness the rifts of, as a form of transportation to other dimensions. If I had to guess, I'd say that it could be a Tholian transporter. Wouldn't want to try it though, there's no telling where we end up. And finally, input the Tholian codes. The Tholian access codes look like they'll give us a tunnel directly into their main system logs. Accessing now. They work, you ready to view the logs? Let's watch them. Update begins. Do you want a verbal recording? You are 2.3 minutes late with your update. Transmit your report, then proceed. The delay was unavoidable. I have located a source of artifacts, but there were complications. A rallying scientist discovered my survey team. Has the intruder been neutralized? We are holding him for questioning. The planet holds technology of interest to us. The Azurt Nebula provides us a convenient access point. The subspace tunnels so we get to the subspace tunnels so we can send ships to your location. Find the technology and determine its, determine its origin. We do not want a repeat of the situation on Nukar Prime. Understood the violence and their allies may prove troublesome. They are expanding their explorations of the, of the ancient colony into areas of interest to us. They are mammals. They are easily distracted. We will send a strike force to their space station. This will draw the, the one away known as Obasek and his allies, Liap. Romulans are, are a threat to our operation. There's a possibility that they will discover or destroy artifacts before we recover them. Eliminate the threat. Recover the artifacts. Here's a recover the artifacts. And let's get out of here. Oh, have to go back in there, it seems. Oh, no, 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 not again. Let me see if I can try this. Go to this. You know what? You already did this. Skip. Hail. Greetings, Captain. I, Tata's firmly requested your presence at 
One of the research facility and the city of New Rivalist. Please report immediately. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna just do this again so we can get out of here. I managed to clear up some of the interference. I am detecting Tholian life signs ahead of your coordinates. Please proceed with caution. So we get some more items. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on. Hopefully we don't have to go through the cutscene again. Take that. Submit the recording. There we go. Come on. Tame transport access. And you know what? There's an easier way to do this. Just beam up and then beam back down. <laughs> Speak to you. I'm sure you're here to, to attend the meeting with the town. Like, yep. I'm grateful for all you've done for our cause. I mean, mute, pause we wouldn't be quick. as far along as we are without your assistance. That's why I wanted you here today to hear for yourself some of what we found, Doctor. What we found in our archaeological surveys is that the planet was populated long before our people arrived after the Sundering. We've discovered multiple ruins from that time period that correspond to the few historical records we still have. Most of our data from that era was lost with the homeworld. And the sword? I'm ready to confirm that the blade found at the battle site is the sword of the Raptor Star. We don't have a visual record of the sword, but the one we have matches written accounts, and a quantum analysis shows signs of master work. Something like this could have only been made by Saharian. We were right to come here. The sword will become a symbol of our reborn civilization. Um, you were saying there was an earlier culture. What do you know about them? The oldest ruins we found are approximately 150,000 years old but I suspect that there may be some even older, based on preliminary findings that are still being analyzed. These people were quite advanced. While the oldest ruins show a culture that was defined by its devotion to a series of deities, later they developed technology, art, even spaceflight. Roughly 150,000 years ago, however, there was some sort of worldwide seismic event. Every volcano on the planet erupted presumably blocking out the sun. Ambient temperatures dropped dramatically. The radiation count spiked. We're still repairing that damage. The survivors of this cataclysm retreated to caves in the warmest areas of the planet, but they died out soon afterward. And what caused this event? We're still working on that. We have found a new site deep underground near an active volcano, but there are massive power spikes unrelated to the magma flow. If there is a source of the seismic instability, it should be there. We would have to send down a team to investigate, though, and it is quite dangerous. I wouldn't send anyone down without an environmental suit. I could go myself, but... I'm not ready to authorize you to do that, Doctor. Our people have too few scientists left. You and your crew are better equipped and trained for something like this. I know I'm asking a great deal, especially after all the help you've given us already. But your being here shows that my people and yours don't have to be adversaries. Not anymore. Not all Romulans think cooperation like this is possible. I do. Are you willing to see it through to the end? 
Yes, I am. Okay, buy over port. Oh, I have to go back that way. Sunday report. Looks like it's up to us, sir. We should prepare a full away team for this assignment. I should note that we've been given permission to view the security footage from that presentation. Just return to this location and ask one of the security officers. Shall we fi file a report? Yep. New readings have been detected in the underground ruins on New Romulus. We need you to clear a path to the lowest levels and then signal us so the Titan and our scientists can investigate. Okay. And before we do... Okay, that's exchange. That's not what I'm looking for. It's over here. Access bank. I'm trying to find something that... Okay, first, clear this junk out. No, not the components. Keep that. Actually, I should swap out my kit for that. Can't really use that. Keep. Retrieve that. I don't want to get rid of it. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Right here. Power cell. Look at that. The hypo. Keeping those for right now. Mainly so I can. Give them to them. Give them to the others. Oh. Okay. And I'm trying to think what else. Oh, let me just move this stuff there. And yeah. That'll be it for in here. Oh wait, actually no. Because I'm going to be leveling up pretty soon. Oh wait, I can't can't use that yet. I have to be level f level 44. No, not level 4, 45. Well, put you back. Also, give rid of those lock boxes. And also, I want to see if I could sell this. Okay, now I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I am selling it for... I'm going to sell this for... For a thousand. For ten... There's a hundred thousand. There. Now the underground ruins, which is over here. Closest I could get is the crater, so let's teleport. And now to run. Oh, wait, need to get the music going. Oh, come on, train. <coughs> Excuse me. Follow the path here. Just 
just want to check something. Yeah. I'm gonna go to... Go to here, get... Lo oh, log... Log myself there. Some ruins and some devices that are floating there. Here we go, we got a log. Log here. There's a there's the access transporter. And get into the ruins. Okay, Captain, these ruins are ancient. Um, by the markings, this area would have been built around the time of the Sundering, but the lower levels to appear to be much older. I recommend that we investigate deeper and see if we can learn more about this structure and its purpose. We'll need to be careful, though. There's no telling what's down here. These ruins are unusually well-preserved, sir. Not even any dust, but they may have spent, been completely sealed, sealed until recent seismic activity opened them up again. Yeah. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need it soon. Might as well get it on, uh, equipped now. Captain, I'm detecting high levels of toxic gases as well as extreme heat ahead. Environmental suits will be required to proceed further. Okay, yeah. life signs ahead. Okay. Okay, no, 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 don't want that. Yeah, I'm punching above my weight class here, <laughs> according to according to th that stuff. More, th more tholine research. Stability.
some stability. Oh. As like day one panel. Okay, this panel describes the rebuilding of the power plant and restoration of the Aconian Gateway. Right now, I wish I had a cryo weapon. Statues day one, it shows heavy Iconian influence. Swap it to that. Also, need some. Not food, I want the. Hypo spray. Okay, 19 because of that. Equip. This appears to be part. It's like they're re need to. Yeah, we need to stop it because of the the power plant. <laughs> The artifact. This council will appears to be beyond damage. Beyond damage reactor. We might be able to salvage some components from that from it, but that's about it. The council appears to be hold, holding old records dating back hundreds of thousands of years, but it's significantly damaged and very fragile. We will have to send a team to recover it. And there we go. Captain, this something appears to be wrong to the um, shutting down the power plant. We appear to initiate a cascade overload. Oh shit. I think we can deal with it remotely, but we'll have to take it will take some time. Until then, you'll have to shunt the power between the four relays as it increases. If you can keep keep bounce at least two relays functional, we'll be able to handle the power escalation. You can only have one relay, I don't we have only one relay, I don't know if we'll be able to stop the overload. Shit. out
another one. There we go, we routed. Congratulations, Admiral. And we've got ourselves to level 40. Power. That's not good. Respawn. Is there an overload? Yes. And there we go. Invented an overload. And we got ourselves After we've collected all the data down here we can, now, new rhyme, now the Rhyme of the Teams could get to work analyzing to determine exactly what's down here and how we can adapt to their use. The power plant is massive, it's safe to use, it should provide almost unlimited amounts of geothermal en energy for the entire planet. We won't be able to use it right away though. As long as the Tholians are here, it won't be safe, safe to have anyone down here. Ready to s turn the surface? Not yet. items Okay, incoming message, yeah. Signal to Tan. I'm reading you loud and clear, Captain. The head researcher Adrian Adriano and I are prepared to make our way over to you. We'll be there soon. And I received your signal. Thank you for calling us down. I knew we could count on you. Sir, I think I found some kind of log or recording. Can you activate it? I'm not sure. 
It has some iconography similar to artifacts found in the Isha Forest Cave. This symbol in particular looks... Universal translator area error. Yeah, it looks like it. Those look like the same creatures we saw with the Iconian. It looks like they hooked some kind of machinery up to the gateway. I think they're trying to power the gateway. How old are those recordings? This can't be right. The first one seems to be 200,000 years old. The second one was recorded 50,000 years after that. And were those things Iconians? We have a lot of research to do before any of those questions can be answered. This gate is clearly inoperable. Do you believe it could be reactivated? With time, yes, I believe so. <gasps> By the elements! Do you know what this means? It means we have a chance to learn about one of the galaxy's most feared and ancient races. We couldn't have done any of this without you. As amazing as this discovery is, it pales in comparison to what you've done for me and my people. I could never fully or properly express my gratitude for everything you've accomplished since coming to New Romulus. Because of you, the Romulans and Remans truly have a chance at starting a new life. You've helped secure our new home and given us a fighting chance at survival. All I did there are no words that will ever fully express my gratitude. All I did was run around and do a few errands. Information discovered from researching this gate will be shared, of course. Some people would be opposed to the releasing of secrets such as these. But time and time again, you have proven that we can all work together. For a brighter future and for a better Romulus, I thank you. File the report, priority one hail. Excellent work as always, Captain Sean. In these past few months, which was a few uh, few minutes, <laughs> or say for a couple of hours, I should say, you've done more for Federation and Romulan diplomacy and relations than anyone else has done in the past few years. In honor of your hard work and excellent service, I ordered a shipment of materials which should allow you to acquire much deserved new equipment. I look forward to your next report. Keep up the good work. Let's get the heck out of here. Actually, in fact, I want to get back. Want to get to the get promoted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Blah blah blah. Let's get back to Earth space dock. Hello. Swap you around. Come on, swap. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Now we know more about the area. It'll be difficult to push the Tholians out, but we, but we know that we, we know that they are down there. We can be more careful. Also, what they are looking for artifacts from the previous civilizations. If they're useful to Tholians, they'll be useful for us. All we have to do is find them first. Yes, you do, and I am taking, taking that for a reason. First, hold on, ship. Okay. I'm I may want one of these, but no, that's a little bit too much for me right now. <laughs> But this means I can also get stuff like this. Free! Oh, there's more I could get. Oh, hold on! Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I used you used to be able to get these with the next mission that's coming up, but but that was the that was an event thing. Wait, I mean, I okay. I know what I'm gonna have to do to the store. Ships, there's a ship bundles. Wait, bundles, starter packs, maybe. Okay, I'm trying to try to take care of stuff here. <laughs> Store ships. Stuff that I already have, like the Paladin. Claim. Okay, we're... Tier 6 Jemadar, which... I could claim that. There's also... I thought there was something here that I could claim. Give me one second. Unless this, is, unless this is for the next level, I can't remember, honestly. Wait. I think it'll be here. Oh, it's a case of I'm at maximum ships. Well, how to manage them. First off, dry dock. Dry dock. I can always buy another one, so discharge. This I'm keeping, so dry dock. Actually, I could buy and buy these again. So let me just act, reactivate these and get rid of them. to make things easier. Control X, Control V, wait. Right. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to type it out.
There we go. Got ourselves some room here. To the store. Ships. I think it would be down. Or oh, you got that. Okay, that's. A, have to be a bit higher for that, it seems. Have to be a bit higher for you. And you. Not you, though. And I don't want to get that out right now. I can also claim some ships because I played this game before. Let's go to the vents. Reclaim. Oh. There we go. Stuff I already have. Let's go with... I'm gonna try to th think of what I'm gonna pick. I'm just going to get all the stuff here. And the Heavy Raider, we don't need the warship. I'm right now working on getting this so far. In case you're wondering, we're, I already did the daily beforehand, so don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of ships here. Okay, I'm just checking. I just can't remember something here. Okay, I could take this off and equip it onto something else. Now. Okay, can't equip it on anything else. Uh, not. Okay, the Vorgon ships. Carrier, that's Krenum. There's the other one. The escort. Oh, maximum ships, okay. I can always get another one. Discharge. Okay, that's Dreadnought Cruiser. Get, I'm getting the stuff here. Um. And where's the other one? There we go. We're gonna go with you. Because it's a carrier, and I've... I've been wanting to break, break out a carrier for a bit. Got ourselves some fighters here. Also because I can, I'm going to use, by the way, I'm not using this because if you notice, I'd have to go backwards in order to use my main weapons.
There we go. Got those all set. Let's add that. You. You. I will be getting rid of that sooner or later. Approaching agony. The. That. And give, we're getting rid of this. This is going into storage, so. It's going on. Nope, that's not what I was doing. This goes back on there. Okay. Dry dock you. Okay, I'm discharging this. There we go. And let's... By the way, as you can see, I got stuff to master. Want to get the restorative support all. Want to get all that's done. And so we also got the whole console set for because we got those other ones, as in these two, which I will take care of a bit later. Or say take care of later. This, this I will be take. This I will. Keep in storage, in case you're wondering. But yeah, if I were to work on this, I'd be using the cannons here. Actually, while I'm doing that, cannons. There. And you go to dry dock. Also, while we're while I'm thinking about it, get the Okay, done. Even though I'm not using them. I'm getting getting stuff that I want want. One second. How many slots? Two active. Okay. Dry dock the U. There we go. Done. Manage the ships. Oh yeah, because I really don't want this uh, discharge. You dry dock. I know. We're, I know we're basically wasting a whole bunch of time here, but it's a case of just want this all taken care of. Oh, I got stuff in the overflow. Okay, let's just recycle a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, not the Horta, not the Horta. Come on. Recycle faster.
Okay. Ah, that was not what I was trying to do. Okay. I can't remember how to get back to the overflow bag. Oh well. But yeah, I can now put this... All this on there. Okay. Get the other two. I, now I remember what I was going to do with those... Those... Um... Swap those around. And ready this starship. Continue without saving. Ah. Oh. Thanks a lot for kicking off out all that other stuff, game. Where are you? Not that. Uh, the... Not that. Not the torpedo launcher. There. Okay. Why not? The Fleet Museum Beacon? Nothing. Wait. Coalition Disruptor? No. Okay, can I equip this on my other ship? Yes, I can. There we go. And now... And now we got... Go to here. Okay, with the new game discovered, decide to share it. Honor to join us. Yeah, I want to get these two, so I'm, I'm gonna do this now. Um, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to be a bit longer tonight just to f take care of this mission in particular. So let's transwarp there. Oh. I have to fix this. Give me one and this. Per stations. Oh. Well, we're not going to need this right now, so... I'll take care of this off-stream, and also do a repeat because I need that warp core. Spum. It would be my pleasure. Okay, yeah. Continue, blah blah blah. Um, it would be my pleasure. Okay, yeah. Let's just run... Also, change up to the shotgun here. Also, upgrade. Can't upgrade anymore right now. Yeah, off out of stream will work more on this. It would be my oh, no, no, okay. Welcome. Okay, the Romney of the Republic he is here with our allies from the Federation Klingon Empire to witness the dawn of a new age. You must be cautious. The day one tried to do the same thing and destroy them. And yeah. You think you have corrected the issue? Consider what happened to the day ones, and what the result would be if the Romulans lose a second home world. Yeah. I have encountered Iconian gateways twice before. In both those instances, the finest commanders I ever served 
found the technology to be too dangerous to preserve. It is difficult to believe that you have managed to do what they could not. Are there problems? No problem. Okay, Ambassador Worf was invited here because of experience with that gateway. She's been voicing his concerns about our decision to activate the gateway. My science seems to convince they have solved the problems of the past, but I fear th that the Ambassador let some of my engineers have their doubts. The town and the Senate believe this is a important step for the new, for new Republic, but it, is a, but it is a step that we must take with our allies. We respect their opinions and want them to join us in this venture, just as the Bajorans and the Federation worked in tandem when we when the wormhole to the Gamma Quadrant was, dis was discovered. In interest of easing some concerns, Ambassador, I invite, um, I invite you to take file check of the data. Perhaps Admiral Wiles will be willing to assist you. I'm ready to assist. Admiral Kerrick, I want to start by reviewing your science team's work. Understood. Ah, Cooper! How you doing? Oh, the gateway? Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Okay. Yeah. Okay, talk to... I'm sorry, did you need something? I don't need to be so distracted, it's taking, uh, taking a lot of work and a lot of late nights to get here. We're finally ready, we're considering everything that could go wrong, I plan for any contingency. Day ones were advanced technologically as we were, as we are, they haven't even became a warp culture when they tried to repower the gateway. We have advantages that they that they could only dream of having. There is risk, of course, but anything worth doing has some risk. One second, everyone need to take a sip of drink. We would we wouldn't be standing on a new homeworld for our people if we haven't been willing to take a chance and challenge the Talsiar. How can I help? With all due respect to you, Ambassador, I don't think there's anything to worry about. If you want, I'll review the data my team has collected with you. And, um, you could uh, review the power variance coefficient numbers for the Alpha, Gamma, and Delta monitors. Maybe I do need another set of eyes. I've I've had a lot of trouble sleeping. Okay. Output. Okay, I'm gonna write this down because I'm gonna forget. Oh. <laughs> it really knocked something over. Forty-five, thirty-four, forty-four, forty-four point six, forty-five point one. Program initialized. Variance. Oh, variance here. 1477, 47, 38, and 9. Program initialized. Okay, Program pilot. Initial Were you able to find the coefficient numbers for me? Yes, Alpha's 14. Alpha is 14. That looks correct. 47? Yes, that's correct. Gamma is 47. 38. Your numbers may be correct, but have you ever witnessed the power of one of these gateways outside of a holodeck? Well, I have. I was invited here to share my knowledge with those willing to listen. Even the best plans seldom survive contact with the enemy. Perhaps we should speak with the engineering teams. Yes, they've been asking for the final power variance numbers. Okay, we'll speak to him next. It would be nope. my pleasure. Uh. I appreciate you speaking up about your concerns. If the projections are off at all, we could end up freezing to death in the case like the Daywans. This gateway is an extremely valuable resource, but is it worth losing everything we've built here? I have new numbers for you. Finally! You want a full-time job here? I could use some reliable help. Hmm, these aren't too bad, better than what we had before. Maybe that this will work out after all. I agree that the simulations look promising, but I still have some concerns. 
So do I, but we're on a deadline. My team has the geothermal tap operational, and with proper numbers, we can finally align the power flow to the gateway and activate again. I'd be happy to discuss your concerns with, with you, Ambassador, but I'll need someone to help with the final commands to raise the pylons while I monitor the power levels. Admiral, could you help? All my team are busy with the tap, and it'll take it'll give the ambassador and I some time to talk. I'd ask Ad Adriana to do it, but she's got her hands full as it is. Okay, Titan, if I do here, he had a good reason, I, and he's a good man. I trust him. If he thinks you have something important to say, we need to listen. Perhaps we can find a solution that will ensure the safety of all of us. Show me your projections. Okay, I'll activate the consoles and monitor the power readings. doors and activate the risers okay The numbers are good, but something seems... off. This gateway may not be exactly like the others we've encountered. Off? Agreed. Sensor readings from the gateways I've encountered were significantly different than this. Could it be because of the power source you're using? Readings like this make me wonder. You open a door, and that means there's there's got to be something on the other side. Maybe this isn't a one-way trip. Do you think there's something on the other side trying to get in? The numbers aren't saying that exactly, but it's a real possibility. I understand what the gateway means to my people, but I'm concerned about what it could happen if we open it without taking more precautions. Could we add some more security? Captains Sean and Corrin have been consulting with Kerarex security forces. I will ask... Corrin to deploy some of her finest warriors. Okay. I do not know Captain Sean, but he commands an Enterprise. He must be a formidable man. He also has less enthusiasm for activating the gateway than others here. I am certain he has considered all the options. I'll speak with Sean and see Sean and see what our options are. Where are you? There you are. How may I assist you? Do you have a moment? The team looks like it's almost done with the final checks. Make it quick. Actually, Ambassador Worf has some concerns about the gateway. And because he can't come over here and chat with a Starfleet officer without raising some eyebrows in his own delegation, he's sending you instead. Interesting. Tell my share in his concerns about the gateway. What do you think we should do? He wants an option to neutralize the gateway if need to. I'll admit, I've been dubious about this project from the start. Nope. Some things are too powerful for anyone to have. Still, it's my job to do what Starfleet Command orders, so the Enterprise is here to assist and represent the Federation. But it's also my job to protect my ship and the Federation. So I had my engineers work up some contingency plans. If Corn is bringing in some extra ground troops to deal with any unwelcome visitors, that should help. My chief engineer worked up a few spatial charges with enough power to take out the gateway. If we attach them to the base of the pylons, we'll be able to stop the disaster before it starts. I don't want to use them unless we have to. We're here at Romulan's invitation, after all, but it's always good to have a backup plan. I'll take care of it. It would be oh, my come pleasure. On. What are you? Ah, good idea. Okay, time to time to light this baby on fire. If all the preparations are complete, I see no reason to delay. Okay, let's go. Initiating final power transfer. Power output rising. 
Levels are within expected parameters. Activating gateway. Oh, let me mute this. We've got a spike. Attempting to compensate. No good. Abort! Abort the mission! Well, that's not good. Shut it down. Detonating charges. Uh, no that's effect. not good. Get everyone out of the chamber. Well, that's not good. Now what? Into the gateway. Now! And music has come back on now. I knew that gateway would be trouble. We can't get a reading on where we are or how far we've traveled. The best we can figure out is that we are not in normal space anymore. And we are trapped. The scientists have been able to get a few readings from New Romulus, but the gateway was damaged. We cannot use it to return. A few people managed to grab some supplies on their way through the gateway. They might have something useful. Check the crates. Assist with the wounded. Once we have seen to the immediate problems, then we can worry about getting out of here. Understood. Let's see what we got here. Data collection technology, portable sensor units, and tricorders. Portable shelters, field rations, well, at least we won't starve. Emergency medical kits, that's good. Rocket me, okay, yeah. Auto suture. Apply bandage. Okay, apply sling. And scan injury. Okay. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Okay. Ice, compression, elevate. I believe I have found a way to open this door, but it will take two of us to override the controls. I think I can open this door, but I will need your assistance. Once I override the security protocols, you will need to rewire the primary motivator to release the locking clamps. Are you ready? Okay, let me get ready. Okay, doing it now. Now, to see what lies beyond. Okay. Well, I've got three choices. Let me scan. Interesting. Are you detecting high trace levels of tetrion radiation? Yeah. My tricorder shows this to be a complex of some kind. There is another large room further down this hallway. I am picking up something beyond this door. As much as I hate to say this, we will cover more ground if we split up. Agreed. We should keep in contact as we search. Yeah. Commander Ninyan will accompany me. There's a way home, we'll find it. I will accompany you. I'll organize the security detail, detail to remain here. Okay, yeah, thank you. Come. We will find the way out. Heavy traces of tetrion radiation. If 
environmental life support controls. It's been recently adjusted for from not compatible uh, not compatible with most humanoid life. Multi adaptive life support systems beyond alpha and beta don't alpha and beta quadrant civilizations and appears to have wear and tear for many decades of use. I'm picking up some odd Tetrion readings. And we've been able to confirm that we're in subspace, but there's nothing conclusive yet. I think we're in a medical facility, although it's not any, like any 6 bay I've ever seen. Interesting, Sean? This facility is mostly automated. That doesn't mean it's abandoned. We're keeping watch for automated security. Nothing we, can ha we can't handle yet, but we found something interesting in this room. It looks like some sort of targeting array. We're going to try to find out more about it. Perhaps it's a way out. Maybe it's a way to open a gateway to a location without a corresponding one on the other end. Ambassador, I think we should take a closer look at that large console. Good idea. If there is a targeting system and a medical bay, we may find the equivalent of a shuttle bay as well. Agreed. This is the main controls for the environment main console controls for the environmental controls of the facility. The the environment can be said to accommodate a wide range of humanoid and non humanoid species. Whoever used these controls last set the uh, environment for a breathable oxygen nitrogen mixture that is standard for most humanoid species. You can't determine how long it has been since they were last accessed. We have not heard from the security detail. We need to check in with them. Yeah. Security detail, answer. Are you sure something here is not blocking our communicators? This is suspicious. We should check in with Korn and Sean's team. Captain Korn, come in. Korn here. We haven't found anything yet in this direction yet. I'll return to our starting location to find out what's happened. Good luck, Sean. I've found what appears to be some sort of targeting system. Oh, that's strange. Captain Sean, what is it? Did you hear that? We should dance and look out! Captain Sean's team is in trouble. Hurry! Okay. Let's have the weapon. Yeah. Remains of a combat that smash toolkit and the tricorder. No sign of Sean's team. We are not alone here. This appears to be a targeting system of some sort with six coordinates. Share some characteristics with the transport technology, but it's so far beyond what you see, you're not sure you'll be able to operate it. This does not bode well. We should rendezvous with Korn and the others. Agreed. Oh. would not have left without their supplies or weapons. Can you hail them? Okay. Anyone? We must find Korn and the others. Okay. The only way left is the path Karen Korn took. We may find the answers if we seek. We need to hurry. We're all in danger here. Wait. I know this place. I have been here before. This table. I saw one just like it when I served on the Enterprise. Blood. Klingon and Ferocin. Koran put up a fight. There are data entries here that correspond to our missing people. They will be taken for examination soon. It was a Solanogen based race, and I have seen this before. When I served on the Enterprise, we attracted attention of aliens who existed solely in subspace. They abducted us. Experimented on us. We did not know why, but... Nope. Yeah, anyway. 
It was a Solanogen-based race. Far mere curiosity. We were able to stop them before they established a pocket of subspace on board the ship. But not before they sent a burst of energy through. If these aliens served the Iconians, that energy could have been a message. Corrin was not taken without a fight. Of that I am sure. And this table has not been used yet. These aliens must be holding the others. It is only a matter of time before they will be examined as well. And the experiments can be deadly. Okay, we'll find the others. Sorry I'm interrupting. As a case of I'd want to get this done as quick as possible here. There is a holding area down this hall. We should... Automated defenses! Defend yourself! That Guardian was damaged by a disruptor. Corrin's work. We can overload the power cell from that Guardian. It should blast through the door. Be ready. There may be more Guardians beyond this door. And... Kaboom! Oh, can't skip. Find a desiccated corpse is not from a species you recognize. I don't see Captain. There's no more time. No. Yeah. There is still someone missing. That's right. We need to keep looking. Okay. Okay, it requires immediate if medical attention, diagnostics, regenerate veins, restore circle, and purge lymph nodes. Track quarter scan reveals Merrick's Malix bloods but completely replaced with its synthetic liquid polymer. Even immediate medical attention will be no help. His family and friends will want to know what happened. It may not provide comfort, but it could provide closure. Carefully remove his communicator and identification so they can be returned to his loved ones. Captain Sean. There's nothing more we can do here. Okay. Agreed. Let's continue on. Go through the doorway. The gateway energy signature is emanating from somewhere across this expanse. My scans indicate that I'm picking up more of those automated defense. You should. Okay. It's the console. Scout ahead. 
We will escort the others when the way is clear. Servitor races, blah blah blah. Aggressive. The soul system. Earth. Basically, stuff that we already know. Okay, yeah, everything's an error. Live image of my world. Vandros Four Dominion, basically the Vandros Four. I remember this world. We found an Iconian gateway there during the Dominion War. It's the console. Okay, gateways and Travada active. Okay, I have the authorized connection, Hobus. Yeah. Okay, some more here. Romulus. The tectonic activity is getting worse. We must find a way to stop it. Okay, I'm not stopping for anything else here. Iconium. I know this planet. I'm just gonna continue on. I'm not gonna deviate anymore. Does the Iconian influence reach so far? This appears to be some sort of master control pack. To reroute power. I believe we can use it to open the gateway. Can we access the database? We must know what the Iconian plans are. After this, I need to head out. We need to I'll download the data and move everyone here before more guardians arrive. Okay. I need to end this stream now because I have gone way too far. I thought it was going to be a quick, quick thing, but I was wrong. I'll finish this up, finish this mission up. We all know what happens. We basically get, an, uh, get the obelisk carrier in order to escape and... All that happy fun stuff. Iconian gateways are activated, and and we basically get access to the Solane Dyson Sphere. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. If you're interested in my content, please hit that heart icon down below. This is my schedule. My Grand Online on Fridays, Valtex 36 to Mondays, any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. You go there, you can see whatever I go live, 
and whatever pops in my fluffy little mind, or say floofy mind. And this is my Discord. If you want to join, please hit that. Please click on that link. You'll hang out with me and with me and others in Discord, and you'll see whenever I go live there. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Bye, everybody.